Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to add more details to our character's run cycle and improve the motion a bit. Before we get started, if you're into animation, it'd be awesome if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel because we post animation tutorials every day. Alright, to start, I don't need this walk cycle reference image anymore, so I'm just going to select it and delete it. This window isn't needed right now either, so I'll close it too. Now I'm going to check my character's motion by cycling the keyframes to see if the running loop is working properly or not. As you can see, the leg movement looks fine and there's no issue, so everything's good so far. Now let's improve it a bit. Go to the frames you see on the screen and using the Manipulate Bones tool, make some changes to the main bone of the character so that it moves up and down on those specific frames. The first one goes a bit higher and the second one comes down a bit. That's it. Now I'm going to cycle it one more time to see if the motion looks right. As you can see, the character's movement feels better now, and that's a good sign. The next part we need to animate is the body. Just like the up and down motion, the body should also move slightly forward and backward, so just follow along with the video and do the same steps. Now I'm going to cycle it again so you can see the difference it makes. All right, as you can see, the movement looks a bit better now, but there's still room for improvement. Now it's time to animate the arms. When the body moves forward, the arms should go backward, and when the body moves back, the arms should go forward. But for this character, we need to do it every other keyframe, which is a bit different from what we did before. Just follow along with the video step by step. Now let's test it out. As you can see, the arm movement looks much better now. And of course, if you take a bit more time, you can get the details even more precise. Now it's time to animate the character's hair. And just like we did with the arms, we need to animate it every other keyframe. All right, now let's test it together in cycle mode. All right, as you can see, the motion looks much better now, but I feel like the character would look more alive if the eyes blink while running. So I'm going to leave it in cycle mode this time and go ahead to fix the eyes with you. All right, now I go to frame zero on the timeline. From the layers panel, I find the eye and create a new switch layer above it, then name it eye. I drop the vector eye layer into it, make a duplicate, and name that closed. I delete the original eye and design a new closed one using strokes, just like in the video. Then with the line width tool, I slightly reduce the thickness at the ends of the eyes. Now I click on the switch layer and set it back to the normal open eye. From here, we can simulate blinking by switching between the different eye states inside the switch layer. By adjusting the timing between open and closed states, we can get the exact blinking effect we want. Alright, now let's check it out together. You can see how much smoother the character looks while running now. And of course, there's still a lot of room to improve it, which we'll definitely do in more advanced parts. So go ahead and like the video and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next ones.